So we're going to play a game. Okay, we're going to play a game. First, I want you to find a partner. So let's just find a partner first. Just pair up, find a partner. Yeah, just find a partner. And, yep. Yeah. Anyone just up here? We need a partner. We need a partner here. We need a partner here. All right. Okay. So I want to, so what, what this exercise is called your mastering your little voice. What's it called? Okay. How many of you have a little voice? Can I see your show hands? Okay. The voice that just said, what little voice? That's a fucking little voice. How many of you have a little voice? Okay, everybody has one. Now, let me ask you a question. Most of the time, now most of, I'm generalizing this, but most of the time, your little voice, is the little voice negative or positive? What does your little voice usually say? Debating. Debating, okay, like an angel and a devil, right? Exactly. Okay, yeah. And that's normal, by the way, we all have that. Don't feel like I'm the only one. Everybody has that, right? You can't. What, you, you can't. Yeah. What does your little voice say most of the time? Not good enough. You're not good enough, yes. No. What, if you fail? what if you fail? Yes. Are you sure? Hmm? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Are you no? Just no? Okay, yes. <laughs> hmm? What if? What if? Yes. So your little voice, we all have it. So here's how the game works. So we're going to find it. So we're a partner. We have a pick who's going to be partner A, who's going to be partner B. OK? <laughs> partner A and partner B. And here's how it's going to work. OK, Th this is fun. And you guys will take turns, OK? We'll take turns. But partner A would go first. Who would go first? Partner A, partner a would go first. Now, partner A is what I want you to do. Okay, listen, listen, very carefully. So partner A, how many of you have some goals that you want to accomplish? Okay, so partner A is what I want you to do. I want you to talk about your goals. Okay, to partner B, I want you to talk about what you want to accomplish, uh, what are some of the goals you want to accomplish, business, personal, anything that you, your dreams, things that get you excited, okay? You should have a whole bunch of those, yes? Your bucket list. Now partner B, your job is this. Your job is to be the little voice. Okay, listen, listen. So let me let me demonstrate. Let me demonstrate. Uh, can I have a partner A? That has a have partner A. That has a round of applause for Hassan. Can I get a mic for Hassan? This is very very complex. Watch. Okay. Okay. So Hassan, can you hear them? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have a seat. Just stand up. So I'll be the little voice, right? I'm partner B, and we're gonna make a switch afterwards. So I'm facing them. So just start talking about some of your goals to me. Ready? Yeah, so convince me that your goals, your dreams, why they're important for you, like why you must achieve them. Go ahead. <coughs> well, since I need to enter the second job program, I want to at least, well, publish three Kindle books. Who the hell do you think you are? And I you're a kid. I have no, no, you're too young for this, I man. No, 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 no. Nobody's going to buy that shit. Keep going. And by next year, no, 2016, you won't sell shit. Come on, I give it up. Six, give it up. Just, just get a job. Just get a job, man. I You're wasting your time. Louder, louder than me. <laughs> louder than me. Fight back. By 2017, I'm going to at least have eight wow. kilo books by the end. Yeah. Okay, good job. Now, you, you see how that works? Now, listen, listen. Partner B, your job is, is very important because what you do serve partner A, then we're going to make a switch, right? Partner B, your job is to be as loud as possible, as rude as possible. Okay? Don't, this is not the time to be politically correct. Okay? Like, if you think you're a fucking idiot, say it. Okay? It's like someone, oh, I, I want to be, an, I, I, no, listen, 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 listen. Oh, I want to be an actress. Damn, you're ugly. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Now, partner A, listen, partner A, what do you do? Do you just like shrink and say and be defeated? Yeah, I guess I am. Uh, I don't think I can do it in the first place anyway. <laughs> no, you want to be louder than partner B. Let me give you a tip. 
it's easier to be louder when you stand up. Okay, if you like, if, if like, you know, if, uh, I've seen this, it's funny. So both are sitting down like that, right? And then partner B was like standing up like that, right? And then, and then partner like standing on the fucking chairs, like, you know. Like, I said, guys, don't fight. Like, don't touch each other. <laughs> on camera, I'm not liable for any, you know, that kind of shit, okay? Disclaimer. Okay, and then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give you five minutes, and I'm gonna say stop, and then we'll switch. Then partner A would be the little boys, and partner B, you, you share your dreams and goal, and you have to convince the other party why it's worthwhile. That's your little boys. Does that make sense? Okay, stand up. It's better to do if you stand up. Okay. I'm gonna count one, two, three, okay? One, two, Three, go! Come on! They deserve a hug! Give them a hug. Wow. That's awesome. Have a seat. Great job. Great job. Great job. Woo. Have a seat. So, <coughs> let's debrief. Was it fun? Yes. But more than fun, what have you learned from the game about yourself? What have you learned from the game about yourself? Nathan? You got to argue against the negative voice because if you don't argue, which voice is going to win? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, your energy has to be higher in order to fight the little boys. Yeah. Yes. Part of my friends told me she's got the little bitch inside of you. The little bitch inside of you. What is it? The little bitch inside of you. What is it? That devil inside of you. Don't listen to him. Uh, don't listen to your little voice. Yes. Now, keep in mind, what is the purpose of your little voice? It's for protection. It's a survival mechanism. Don't completely shut it off. Just like if I'm on the edge of this podium, my little voice is like, don't lip over. You're going to crack your legs. Okay, I better fucking listen to that. Like, okay, take a step back. But when it comes to certain decisions in business, yeah, you know, you got you to judge. Yes? Yes, what else? What else have you learned? Someone from the back. Yes. Keep moving forward, yes. Yes, little voice that can tell us sometimes, yes, yeah, something useful. Yes, it's true. It's true. Sometimes, ladies, you, you listen to the little voice, stay away from that guy. <laughs> yeah, usually it's 99% correct. <laughs> yes. And the, the, the stronger your, your, like your little voice was, the, strong, the harder the A's won. Ah, okay, if the stronger your little voice. Now, think, what gives strength to the little voice? Doubts. Doubts. Insecurity. Insecurity, yes. Fear. Fear. Indecisions, yes. You let him talk, yeah. Him or her talk too much, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So when my little boy sometimes, if when I do a certain project, if I'm pushing, stretching my comfort zone, I have my little boys too. Same thing. That oh my goodness, what if you know came, that little boy came out that little immigrant boy from 14 years old coming to Canada, couldn't speak a word of English. You're gonna speak to people? Oh, I don't know, man. I, you, no, no, okay? So you could do it either way. You could politely and say, please shut up. I would just say, shut the fuck up. But whatever works for you. I like stronger language for myself. So that gives me a little bit more power, a little bit more oomph, right? And then finally it works. It's like, then I can stop and I can focus. What else have you learned? What else have you learned? Let's debrief. 
So who has, who has the control and who has the power? Yes. You do. Mm, so as long as you knock them out, you can, you, can, you can use this to serve your clients as well. That's what it's saying, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. One more thing. What have you learned? Yes. Yeah. Some more confidence. Yeah. Some more confidence. Some more conviction. Stronger your passion, the stronger your will to pursue your Yeah. Stronger your passion, the stronger you can, you know, you can just pursue your path, right? Your message, what you believe. Yes. How many found that their little boys sounds awful like awful lot like their parents? Yeah. 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 But that but again, that's just again internal communication. Another word for internal communication is, write this down, programming. It's just programming. That's all. A petrol. Just programming. Yes. I learned the name Pew Knight. I thought I was being very harsh on Rosalind when she said that. Yeah, it was nothing. So that, what does that mean? What, what does that mean, though? No, but for her, that means her little voice. It's one mean son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Like, when you're that harsh, and she's like, this is nothing. Like, this is like lightweight. My, my little voice is, watch me. It's heavyweight. You know, it's way meaner. It's more harsh, right? And we all have different degrees, right? And what you notice is as you do, and now how this kind of exercise is an exaggeration. What is it? Exaggeration. Yes. Like don't do it. Don't do, don't do this in public, okay? <laughs> oh, I learned it from that Dan Lock guy. <laughs> Shit, get me in trouble. No. But can you do it at home? Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Perfectly fine. I do this all the time. Lock the door. <laughs> a little bit of me time. And just say, hey, look in the mirror, what you got? What you got? Okay, I just have this internal dialogue with myself. <coughs> kind of, kind of, little bit crazy, incredibly profound. Because I have to convince the person in the mirror first that I could do this. When I look him in the mirror and say, you know what, you ain't got nothing. What else have you got? That's it? That's it? That's all you got? You pussy, right? Come on, what you got? That's it? Okay, now I can do it. I've eliminated all the doubts, all the fear, everything. This is, this is all you got? Uh, yeah, this is nothing. So I do that. Talk to the mirror. Seriously, it works. I'm not talking about affirmation, though. I'm not talking about looking in the mirror and say, I'm happy, I'm successful, this is... No, 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 no. no. I'm talking about, let's, let's, let's bring up the shit. What could possibly go wrong? Every single doubt, every single fear, every single objection, talk to me. Okay, and then handle one by one, one by one, one by one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Take two minutes. How long? Two minutes. two minutes. Discuss among your table what have you learned from the game and what are you going to implement, what are you going to change. Two minutes, go. Ten times your finances. Ten times your business. Ten times your marketing. Ten times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.